Hey, buongiorno, ciao a tutti, I'm Aaron here at 99 Problemi. Today I have a video for you on the presente indicativo. This is the final video on uh, irregular eerie verbs uh, for me. Um, and so we have a kind of catch-all video that includes verbs of bere, rimanere, tenere, scegliere, togliere, and sedere. These are verbs that you'll commonly see in beginning Italian, and they are uh, often uh, models for what uh, some other verbs do, so uh, they're useful to learn. Um, and so basically this will present those many verbs uh, and end with uh, exercises as always to reinforce what you've learned. Um, so let's check some of these out. The first one is bere, to drink. It's a very common verb as you can probably gather. Here are the subject pronouns. Um, the only thing you have to learn about bere is that it forms this irregular stem, bev. So if you look up at the infinitive form, bere, if you were to form it like a regular verb and get rid of the ere, you would have just b, and so it would be bo, be, be. Uh, that doesn't really uh, sound right at all, does it? Uh, so it adds this bev stem. Uh, and that sounds much better. Bevo, I drink, bevi, you drink, beve, he, she, you all, uh, you formal drink, beviamo, no, we drink, bevete, uh, you all drink, and loro bevono, they drink. Then there are the verbs tenere and rimanere, and what's interesting about these is that they add in um, a G in certain spots and also Tenere has some spelling changes, so tengo, tieni, tiene, teniamo, tenete, tengono, and uh, rimanere, uh, rimango, rimane, rimane, rimaniamo, rimanete, and rimangono. So again, that go form that just gets added in out of nowhere, uh, and tengono in the loro form. So the io and the loro forms are kind of connected in that uh, stem. There's also the slight orth orthographic change here with the adding in of the I uh, in uh, the tene, the ten stem. Uh, rimanere does not have that. And uh, so that's what to, to look out for there. Then there's the ERE verbs scegliere and togliere. And what happens with these that's interesting is they, uh, they swap the L uh, and G here. So you see scegliere up top. Uh, instead of GLI, it just becomes LG in the EO and loro forms. So for scegliere, it's uh, scelgo, uh, scegli, scegli, scegliamo, scegliete, scelgono, that is to choose, and togliere. Uh, to remove, tolgo, I remove, togli, toglie, togliamo, togliete, tolgono. And I've also highlighted here how you would expect in the two and the noi forms to see a double I, right? Because the rule is when forming verbs, you chop off the ERE and you add an I in the two form and then no, iamo in the noi form. Um, but notice here you don't have to double that up. Um, generally, when you see two eyes next to each other, you're going to see them pronounced distinctly. And what comes to mind is uh, CE, uh, the command to be. Um, but um, here you see that they are not doubled, so something to watch out for with those conjugations. And otherwise, they're regular. The last verb is sedere, it's to sit or be sitting, um, and uh, this one is conjugated with just a, a spelling change here with the sied, uh, so siedo I sit, siedi you sit, siede she she you formal sits, then it goes back to sediamo, the regular stem there, sed, uh, sediamo, sedete, uh, we sit, you, you all sit, siedono back to the I change there, they sit. Um, 
one, you notice that this is uh, boot shaped. I've mentioned this before. It's just that uh, in the Noyan Voi forms, it goes back to being regular. And it's actually a common feature of Romance languages in general. I've seen it in Spanish and French, and uh, maybe in Portuguese. I'm not an authority on that. Uh, and uh, you also commonly see sedere with uh, a reflexive form. So I've just included that. Um, to spark your interest. Um, I've also made a video on that, so if, I'm going to link to the reflexive verbs video if you're wondering how we get those mitc, cvc pronouns there in, in magenta. And uh, there'd be the difference between the English of sedere, si means to sit down, uh, and sedere is slightly similar. I mean, the difference here is is small but, but important. Sedere would be to sit uh, or be sitting uh, down. I'm sorry, <laughs> to be to be sitting in general. Sedere si is the one to sit down. Mi siedo, I sit down. Qui. Obviously very similar verbs in meaning. Let's check out the present tense uh, exercises for these. So um, this is the way they work. Number one, rimanere, which is a rimango. And uh, you can pause the video here. If you see that magento minus sign, uh, that means to make it negative, all you have to do is put a non in front of the verb and you've got your negative form. So take a few minutes there. Again, if you don't know these by now, just you're gonna need to take some time to write them out, make flashcards, study those, and just memorize them. They take a long time, but the more you can train your what you hear and say and uh, anticipate for these, you, you realize they get a little bit easier uh, with that. Okay, so number two is uh, tu bere, you drink, that is bevi. Uh, they do not drink is uh, non bevono. I hold is uh, tengo. Five, noi sedere, we sit is uh, sediamo. Six is uh, voi togliere, that's uh, togliete. Seven, loro scelgono, sorry, togliere is uh, remove, so you all remove. Uh, seven, loro shel scegliere is uh, loro scelgono. Notice the swap there with the GL to LG. Uh, they select or choose. Eight, he does not drink, non beve. Nine, io sedere, that's uh, siedo. 10, io scegliere, that's scelgo. 11, lui non uh, tenere, that's he doesn't hold. Non tiene. 12, tu non togliere, you don't remove, that is tu non togli. No double I. 13, lei uh, siede. 14, io tolgo, I remove. 15, voi sedere, you uh, sedete, that is, uh, you all sit. 16, le rimane, uh, you formal uh, stay, that's you formal rimane. Uh, 17, loro rimangono, uh, they, they stay. Le togliere is uh, toglie, she removes. 19, noi scegliere, that's scegliamo, we select. And 20, loro tenere tengono. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Grazie. Um, leave me a comment if you'd like to talk about something or have a question. Um, you can also find me uh, on Facebook and Twitter at Novanta Novi Problemi. And uh, finally, there's the website to check out Novanta Novi Problemi .com. And uh, grazie mille, as always. Thank you very much. Ciao.